spring break weekend. Woo! Yes, welcome back to the show. Nice move. <laughs> the beach, the sand, the sun. Oh, I love Miami. If you do, well then prepare to be jealous because I headed down south. Yes, and hooked up with some giant NBA ballers and the magnificent Divine Brown. What did we do? Well, we basked in the joy and the wonders of the world's sexiest city. Have a look. Come on and learn it on the line. Divine Brown, it's fantastic to see you here in Miami. Thank you. What is going on with you right now? I'm on my third single for the Love Chronicles. Are we going to see you in Vancouver? Yes. You're at the Junos. I will be at the oh. Junos. I'm nominated for two categories, and uh, I'm also going to be performing. Here in Miami, it's so stunning. Oh my god, the Four Seasons is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and can we talk about the food? Yes, the food is outstanding. Which do you not feel like we have been eating a lot over the last few Listen, days? last night I ate so much food that I thought I was going to explode. <laughs> and Divine's not kidding. After an amazing meal served to us in bed at the aptly named and super cool Club Bed, I snuck off to Miami Beach to check out the incredible Versace Mansion. When in Miami, this is probably as exclusive as it can get. Well, thanks for having me over here Thank at the you. Versace. <laughs> Let's head inside. The, actually, the opening of the house was done on Christmas Day in 1930, and it was blessed by the Archbishop of Santo Domingo. It's only gotten better with time. Versace came in and added the color. He did have from, an eye for color, didn't he? He did. Wait till you see some of the room. This is our members only in VIP dining room. Okay. So you kind of have to be somewhat special to get in here. So who has had dinner here? Like Jennifer Aniston, Forrest Whitaker, Paris Hilton, Carmen Electra, Bill Clinton. This was Madonna's suite. It, this when was Versace, Madonna's suite. Yeah, this when he when he built the house, this is uh, where she used to reside. This was her room. She never liked to take showers, so this is the only room in the entire house that has a bath. It feels Madonna. Okay. Well, it's time to find my girl again, and what a better way to wrap up a Miami day than with some more amazing food and a mojito from Ola at Sanctuary. You can't come to Miami without making a fantastic mojito. There's a couple steps to it, but it's nothing super complicated. Pinch of mint, Divine. How much sugar? We're gonna get a good tablespoon in there. Because I'm healthy, I'll go less. That's a good mojito that you gotta get. Uh, there you go. Lime juice. We're just gonna down and twist. Rum, okay. Any kind of rum will do. I like dark rum. They're supposed to have a lot of alcohol. You're going to have to carry me home tonight. They can get really messy. You didn't see me do that. Okay, like that, good. I make a good mojito. <laughs> I bet you mine is better. <laughs>